Uh, John Stupid has become a member. Hey, that was the smartest. I'm John Stupid. Good to see you. <laughs> hey, your name's John Stupid too? No way. No way, really? Are you kidding me, dude? Your name's John Stupid too? Whoa, I build houses in North Carolina. Yeah, no, I'm the guy who builds them 10 feet in the air. Yeah, 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 that's me. Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. <laughs> I love the John stupid character. Oh, that's so fucking dumb. Yeah. It's I love I love like yeah we used to do, we used to do John, you know John R word. Yeah, uh, yeah it was just yeah it's just so. John fun. stupid is the more. It's yeah it's more PC. There we go. It's PC principle. It's the YouTube friendly version. Yeah, yeah right. We got a Nomo Lee sending fifty bucks. Hey Nick, hey. John stupid the fifth here. I took your advice, stepped outside for a cigar, and found out my house quote unquote was actually just a cardboard box on the side of I ninety five. My parents loved that box, but I ashed my cigar and burned it down. Oh well, thanks man. So you're related to Jack Stupid? He's my uncle. That's crazy. Wow, I haven't seen you since the family reunion that we had at Denny's at 11 in the morning <laughs> on a Monday morning. We had moons over in Miami. We had moons over Miami at a Denny's, you remember? It was really good, 11 in the morning on a Monday morning. The best time to have a family reunion, right guys? Right stupids? <laughs> tell Auntie, uh, tell Auntie Irene Stupid that, uh, that uh, John says hello. <laughs> good to hear from you guys. Hey gents, missed the streams for the past few weeks because I started an online boot camp for data analytics. Should I tell my professor that I have a GUN and the voices are getting very persuasive tonight? Love everything you do. Hell yeah. Uh... Guys, should I throw it all away? <laughs> hey, should I throw everything down the drain? <laughs> hey dude, hey what's up dudes, love the stream. Should I throw flush my head down this toilet? <laughs> Yo dog, I've been working my little buns off. Should I flush everything down the toilet? Hell yeah dude. <laughs> Yo dude, rock on. We got Cat with the 25. I run a popular Discord bot, Nick. It logs everything. I found out it collected info on those shug, on the Thug Shaker Central Discord server involved in the Ukraine dock leaks. How can I monetize this? Sell it to journos? Yep. Oh yeah. Nick, how do you usually handle your Discord? I usually, dumps? when I ever do that, uh, good question. <laughs> Great question. I'm glad you asked. I have always good. <laughs> I put them on eBay. I write on a little piece of paper. Files for sale from the Ukraine. And then I sell them on eBay. John Stupid, good to meet you. Good fellow hacker <laughs> in here. Right on, my man. Excellent. I have a good answer for that, because I'm John Stupid. And people say, oh, he's probably going to give me a stupid answer. Uh, sometimes a stupid answer is the best answer. <laughs> Shit. John Stupid coming back with another 20 Australian. Thank you, man. Nick will not divide us. Stay positive and use crystals. Turn away from silver buyers. Turn away silver buyers from my antique store because I don't sell to these scrappers. Mr. Guns will not divide us. Stay symmetrical and don't let yourself get cyberbullied. Exactly. More of the brilliant ideas coming from us. Man, it's amazing that you meet another guy named John Stupid and he's seeing the same ideas that you were. Man, I gotta go to Australia. Great minds think alike. <laughs> yeah, it's like our powers are combining from over 10,000 miles away. And then uh, Susan sent uh, 20 bucks. I wanna shake your hand. Love you, Nick. Susan, thank you. I wanna shake your hand. There's over five girls in this chat right now. Um, and then we got- so eight, maybe eight girls in this chat. <laughs> 2,100 <laughs> people, there's probably 8, 000, uh, eight girls in here. We got 20 bucks from uh, Clown College. Hey, Nick, it's your cousin Juan Estupido from El Paso. No, I, no comprende. <laughs> Excellent. I love the- Paso. I love the- Ray. John Stupid with the 20 Australian. Hey, John Stupid here. I work my dang touche off making houses all symmetrical. My son, my man, uh, put me onto this stream and you'd be surprised how long those fire alarms will beep before you need to change the battery. Good point. That's a really good point. <laughs> you know, I hadn't thought about it like that. It is crazy how long the fire alarms last before you have to change the battery. Man. Moving on to Anonymous with the 50. Uh, need a quick MDE tip or skip. Just giving thanks. Uh, my house is a mess and mommy hid the cleaning supplies under the floorboards. I'm ready to completely gut the house to find what I need, but I don't want to damage it. Maybe it's just time for a cigar? Yeah, just time to take a seat. Just time to sit down, sit down and have a nice cigar. She hid something under the floorboards. You want to rip them all out? She hid something under the floorboards? The cleaning supplies under the floorboards. I'm ready to gut the house. Get out of here! My mom used to do that! <laughs> John Stupid, nice to meet you. Yeah, my mom used to hide stuff under the floorboards all the time! No way! 
J Man with the 50, man. Thank Holy you. Holy shit. Thank you, dude. Jet, Nick, I think you're hitting the sub goal a little too easily. Maybe a hundred severe beast goal on Thursday. We need a guest appearance from the other John Stupid. I think you'd have some cool insight into house flipping and architecture. You know, I, you know I'm so glad you asked that because I had some thing. Why don't we do five story turrets? And I was thinking a living room, right? Like, living rooms are cool. What if our living room was 60 feet long by only eight feet wide? Because, you know, you mean you <laughs> so, like, a little bit better. And then, like, okay. Like, people like to live in the trees, right? So, like, why don't we put the house 14 feet in the air? You ever think about that? So I could drive my big rig underneath it. Call me, buddy, from Australia. We're going to come together with a business plan. Every six years, this guy gets passive aggressive with his house and tries to sell it for a ton of money. Mm. Look, you can see North it. Carolina? That's what happens with these boneheads. Screw it. I'm selling it. I'm moving to Florida. It didn't sell for eight ninety nine in 2015, but ever since then I put all my elephant pictures in it and now I want a million and a half for it. It's just crystal clear on why I should get that. Great job on the backyard too. Your landscaping is fucking snots, my man. <laughs> this landscaping is snots. Every person in that's watching right now can do better landscaping than this million and a half dollar homeowner. Look at how ratty your plantings are. You just put dirt and then you planted them down. Like what a bonehead. Yeah, you better not take pictures of the outside because you know it looks like ass when you get up close to it. Nice wall here, dude. Yeah, great job. Great job with the plantings. Why don't we stuff all the plants right in the nook? Yeah, don't do a huge patio right here and then a pool and then walk it down. No, don't do anything like that for a million and a half. Make sure you do less in the last seven years and then ask for double what you asked for five years ago. Man, do I want some plants for you. Wait a minute, what am I talking about? That's my Uncle Mark Stupid's house. Whoa, that's my Uncle Mark Stupid's house. No, they thought they could hide it though. Black we can hide how stupid we are? Yeah. Just kidding, that's the way we are. We're stupid family. It's my aunt, Judy Stupid. Auntie Judy, I love what you did with the place. It looks great. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I love that commercial. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Now that ad made some money. I can, I can bet on that. Uh, I've got some pals who made up a really good ad like that. I like it. English Tudor, 32 and a half million, built in 23. Whose house was it? Who, who owns it? Oh, Warner Brothers. It was a Warner Brothers estate. Really? Yeah, Harry Warner. Is Harry Warner? Who cares? That house is, I was going to say, the house has to be old cinema. It's just, it's just got that panache. It's got that panache, you know, like the, like the Playboy house has, you know, with tunnels to Warren Beatty's house. That's not weird, right? It's you know, just got tunnel. flair. It's just a little flair, you know, like a tunnel that like has like a, a wipe that wipes phones, wipes magnet strips from phones that, <laughs> you know, because I'm sure before the internet, I'm sure no one sent incriminating videos of politicians to Playboy because they didn't know better. Anyway. Shit. It's me, John Stupid. Good to see you. How are you? <laughs> hey, how are you? John Stupid. Yeah, I built this big old house. I use symmetry. <laughs> right on. Luke uh, Luke F, thank you for the 25. I'm, I have no clue. Um, you're like speaking a different language, so I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, not sure how to even say that one. Oh, I know what he's saying. Oh. This guy? Should I say it? What do you say? No, Should I, I say got it. Okay. He's saying something. Uh, After my cat go heaving in the light beam, my FBI budgies inside my home in Fall River, they go poo on the Clio. I wanted to tell you I was thinking the same thing. All right. <laughs> I had a pet cat. All right. <laughs> and he came down the stairs and I said, what am I going to do next? I'm going to bring him to the PetSmart. Nope. I bring him to Target. John Stupid, good to meet you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a home builder out in North Carolina. I put houses 12 feet in the air. You ever heard of him? Just kidding, probably didn't. Anyway, I got a yellow Ferrari parked outside. I think I'm pretty right side up in it. A Brick Street Victorian, what's this thing worth? What's, what's something like this? 580, 7,600 square feet. It's the, uh, the Elwood Family Victorian Estate in DeKalb, Illinois. George Garnsey, 7,000 square feet. Key eye for detail, keen eye. I have a keen eye for detail. Hey, George Garnsey, nice to meet you. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Hey, how's it going? George Garnsey. I, uh, my family is uh, seventh generation from DeKalb, Illinois. So what I do is if there's a 90 degree wall, I just basically just give myself a kitty corner and make it, uh, so I just get a better angle on it. You know what I mean?